This video will cover getting started with Legal Library Pro, SEBA's online forms tool. Throughout this video series, we'll cover getting started, creating a new transaction, filling out your forms, modifying your document, printing your document, adding users, copying a saved transaction, and creating a custom office template. To begin, log in with your SEBA credentials. Once logged in, you can view all of your previously saved transactions, or you can use this search screen up here to locate a specific transaction. We're going to begin by clicking on New Transaction. Think of your transaction as a folder for all of your documents. When creating a transaction, your office's name should autofill up here, and you can choose a transaction type for organizational purposes. In this example, I'm going to choose listing. This information, the buyer, seller, property address is all required. If I don't have some of this information, I can put a placeholder like TBD and then fill in the rest of my information. The suite number and the listing number are not required fields. And when I'm all done entering in my information, I'm going to go ahead and click on Save up here. If I need to make changes to anything in the transaction detail, I'll click Edit up here. Your forms can be branded with your office's logo. If you don't see your office logo here, you can send it to us at support at commercialmls.com. You can also opt to have a personal or a team logo. You would come to this screen, select Use This Instead, and click on your name here. And then click Save up here to save that option. And now it's time to add some documents. So you'll scroll down to the Documents section here and click on Add Documents. The forms on this screen are sorted alphabetically by short name. I can click on Document Full Name to sort them by document, or I can come up to the search filter up here and type in Listing, for example or use the document category to narrow my view. I'm going to choose listing for you today. Click search. And then I'll scroll through these. And this is the one that I want. And it is a master document. So I'm going to go ahead and put the check here and select it. I can either click add document here or I can click done when I'm done adding forms. It'll ask me if I want to add the selected form, and I do. So I'm going to click Add Selected Document. And it will appear in my Documents section here.